They call it the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360. In this video, let's unbox it. I am, I'm amped. For the first time in probably Benji Kaiser channel history, I'm getting a laptop within the first few days of its release. And there it is, the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360. Now, right now they're offering a storage upgrade for free if you order this on Samsung's website. Now there's a link in the description below this video to snag that deal. You can buy it either on Best Buy or from Samsung directly. Now, if you buy it from Samsung directly for the Book 3 Pro 360, you can get a one terabyte upgrade on storage absolutely free. And if you buy the Ultra, you can get that same free upgrade. Now keep in mind the specs on this laptop are gonna max out at 16 gigs of RAM with the i7 1360p for the Book 3 Pro 360. Whereas with the Ultra, the Galaxy Book Ultra, you can get up to 32 gigs of RAM by choosing the i9 processor. Now keep in mind, this free storage upgrade is only gonna last till next week. So once that sale is gone, that is gone. So you're gonna wanna maybe jump on that if you're already considering this laptop as we're working through the unboxing. Now, if you're getting the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, you'll be able to get 32 gigs of RAM by choosing the i9 processor and an RTX 4070 GPU. Now, if you choose the i7 version, you still be able to get one terabyte of storage free upgrade, but you'll be limited at 16 gigs of RAM and the RTX 4050. So you have to go to the i9 if you want 32 gigs of RAM and the RTX 4070. So there's kind of some of the discrepancies there. But also in the Book 3 series, you have the Book 3 360, the Book 3 Pro, and then the Book 3 Pro 360. So there's quite a few options over on samsung.com and they're all on sale right now with that free storage upgrade. Again, links in the description below. That sale will only last into next week. After that, it'll still be available on Samsung and bestbuy.com if you're interested in checking it out. Now, I think that the RAM limitation is not my favorite thing that they've done. I wish that they would have allowed an upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM, even on the Book 3 Pro 360. Some of us don't really need the RTX 4050 or the RTX 4070. I think this thing will work probably pretty well for 4K video editing, even without a dedicated GPU. I'm gonna run some benchmarks in this video. I normally don't do that, but because I know a lot of you are gonna wanna know how it performs compared to the i7-1260P from last year, I'm gonna run those and include them in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, pulling the package out of the box, the S Pen is included, as well as the charger cord and charger block. I love how on the go friendly this package is. There's everything that you'll have in the box. Let's go ahead and get the laptop out of the sleeve. This is the 16 inch model. I'm really excited to be reviewing the 16 inch model as I think it's the perfect form factor. Last year was the 15 inch and I liked the size of it, the thin and lightness of it. However, the 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen is gonna be awesome. Again, still thin and light, just like last year's model. Last year, I was a little concerned about the flex. Let's do a flex test. It's better than last year. That improved a bit over last year. That is really good to see. Let's check out the assembly on the bottom cover. Assemble very nicely, bottom cover into the side panels. Man, they do such a good job with these laptops. To me, these are like the MacBook Pro competitor. I'm excited to test the performance and the battery life to see what we have. I even have a MacBook Pro 14. I know it's not a 16, but I have a MacBook Pro 14 in the studio right now. I'll definitely do a head-to-head -head review between those two laptops. Go ahead and check out the ports before we open this thing up. Nice, we have an HDMI port, two USB type C's, and then on the right side panel, we have a USB type A and a micro SD card reader. Oh, they almost did it. I wish that was a full-size SD card reader. I just said, no questions. This is the on-the-go photographer laptop. Now you have to do micro SD cards and a full-size SD card in your camera if you wanna make this thing practical. I know a lot of you use drones and GoPros and so the micro SD card does make sense, but for photographers, most cameras are full-size SD cards. So a little bit of complaining there from myself on that. Otherwise, I'm liking the thin and lightness, nice aluminum build quality. Let's go ahead and open and close the lid. See if we can do that with one hand. Moves a little bit, pretty tight hinge. Yep, so we can hold that. So it's gonna be pretty much a two-handed open. Wow, that is a large trackpad. Look at this, compared to this Asus laptop I have here, 
That is massive. And it's even bigger than the MacBook Pro 14 inch. I know it's not a 16, but it's 14. I'm gonna show you that comparison real quick. There's the comparison of the 14 inch MacBook Pro to the 16 inch Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, a massive trackpad. I know it's not the 16 inch. I didn't buy the 16 inch. I'm so sorry for all these who want to complain. Ben didn't compare the 16 to the 16. I don't have it, I would otherwise. Man, that is huge. And of course, this is a two in one. 360 touchscreen laptop with a pen. Man, so thin and light. There is it in tablet mode. You're basically holding an iPad Pro in your hands. That is beast. Man, that looks good. Let's see. It's a manual click trackpad, which I do like. I think there's something to be said about the uh, vibration click trackpads, but there's something really traditional and comforting to me about a manual click glass trackpad, and this has it, and it feels really nice under my fingers. I'm trying to power it up. I don't think we have enough power. I'm gonna have to plug it in here in a second. Keyboard feels nice under my fingers, a nice short to medium key travel, a numpad on the right side, that's really nice. And I'm guessing we're gonna have the, yep, there's the fan modes to swap through fan mode. So whether you wanna conserve power or you wanna get the maximum performance out of the laptop, you have your performance function key right there on the keyboard deck. I, I cannot get over how large this trackpad is. This is gonna be so nice for creators. Match with a pen, this is a great laptop for artists and designers for sure. Let's get this thing plugged in, fired up, and let's run it through a Photoshop benchmark. Let's see how much performance we have with this i7 1360p. This is the webcam on the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. I just finished running the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark and before I tell you the results, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, definitely do so because we're giving away three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros when we pass 100,000 subscribers. So you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the full details of how to enter into that giveaway once we pass 100,000 subscribers. Now, we just landed an 898 inside of the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark. That's almost a 100 point increase in performance over last generation, the i7-1260P. Not a huge bump in performance, but definitely an improvement. And more than anything, I think what you're getting out of this new model is the very large trackpad and the 16 inch 16 by 10 aspect ratio. The performance is plenty. Even at last year's model with the 803, that was still a great amount of performance. So now we've just got a little bit of edge on the competition from last year's model. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new Photoshop file here and start to mess around with the pen a little bit so you can see the touch sensitivity of the pen. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the brush tool. As you see, as I press lightly on the canvas, it is a nice light line that we're producing push a little bit heavier, it produces that nice thick heavy line, and then as I let up, it thins out, push heavier, thins out. So definitely really good touch sensitivity. It's not laggy, wherever you push it immediately catches it. Here we go, I'm kind of just maybe adding some eyelashes or something to whatever this thing is that I created. And then you can push light and then heavy, light and then heavy, light and then heavy. So really good touch sensitivity for the pen on this screen. Now you will not be able to upgrade the RAM post-purchase. So what you will get with the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 is 16 gigs of RAM. As I mentioned, if you wanna get 32 gigs of RAM, you're gonna have to get the i9 version of the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, which also comes with 32 gigs of RAM and an RTX 4070. Again, I'll put links in the description below so you can check out all the different models that are available. The sale where you get a free storage upgrade is going on until I think February 16th, so you only have a little bit of time left to capitalize on that. Otherwise, you'll be able to buy it at samsung.com or Best Buy. And I think Best Buy hopefully will run that sale a little bit longer than February 16th, but we shall see. I'll see you guys here in the next video.